Welcome to this video demo of Power Commands. My name is Deepak Kapoor and I will walk you through features of Power Commands and explore how Power Commands is a great set of tools for developers. For my demo, I will work with a simple console application in Visual Studio 2008. So let's get started. I'll switch over to Visual Studio now. Right. Now what I have here is a very simple uh, console application and I'll use this, uh, this as a test bench uh, to demonstrate the different tools that we get uh, through Power Commands. Now once you have installed Power Commands, uh, you'll see that if you go to Tools Options, you'll see a node for Power Commands. Under the General Subnode, there are two options, Format Document on Save and Remove and Sort Usings on Save. You can also go to Commands and Enable or Disable different features that are available to you. We'll make sure that remove and sort usings on save is selected, which it is, and I'll click OK. What happens now is if I save this document, if I save this file, you'll see that the using statements have been optimized. Uh, this is one of the one of the tools that we get. If I right click on program.cs, I'll see there's open command prompt. Uh, which is simple enough. Uh, it opens a command prompt and it sets the current folder to be the folder of my project. I right click and I can go to open containing folder which will show me the the containing folder for this project. I can right click and say copy class. I can right click on the project node and say paste class. You'll see that I have two files now. There's program.cs and program1.cs. If I open program1.cs, it's identical to program.cs uh, with an exception of the class name. Of course, this will not build because there cannot be more than one entry point to my application, but you do uh, you do see how uh, how uh, useful this uh, this little tool can be. I'll close this and I'll delete program1.cs just to make sure that my project builds. I can also right click and click on copy path. This will copy the path of this file to the clipboard. I can then come in here in my editor and go right click paste and this is the path of program.cs. I'll save the file and make sure it builds. Yes, the build is successful. Uh, one of the one of the things that we get uh, is ability to send an email directly from our from Visual Studio. So I can actually write. I can select few statements, go right click, and I see email email code snippet. I click on this, and my default email. Uh, writer will fire up uh, with these statements pasted in there. So I'll just do that. I've clicked on email code snippets and you can see that I have my statements copied here. I'll close this. We can insert a GUID attribute. Uh, I can click on insert a GUID attribute and you'll see a GUID attribute appearing on top of my class. I can also, let's say if I, I ju I'll just type in something here. Uh, I'll just type in string xx is equal to yy. And just remember that my cursor is positioned here. I can go and close this file. I can then go to edit and say undo close. If I click undo close, you'll see that the, it, it remembers the position of my cursor, which was right after the semicolon in this statement, and that's where it is. You also get the ability to collapse projects. Uh, Visual Studio should have this as a default, but uh, nevertheless, now now we have this feature through these extensions. 
uh, you can also do a remove and sort usings from uh, from the context menu on on the solution node or the project node uh, you can actually copy the path of the project and we'll just paste it here and you'll see that this is where the project file is located other than these you can also go to the file menu and you have your recent files now you can actually clear this list by clicking here we'll wait uh, okay well here we go so it asks me that these are the files and would you like to clear these so I can click on clear and restart or I can click on cancel I'll click on clear and restart what happens now is that Visual Studio shuts down and opens up right away and I can go back and open my project and I'll now see that I do not have a recent files menu I can do the same thing with recent projects clear recent projects list I get the same similar dialog click on select all say clear and restart Visual Studio restarts again and you'll see that in recent projects there's nothing I can go and open my solution and there we are right. so as you can see that uh, power commands gives us uh, some very small tools if may if that may be the right word uh, however these tools are handy when it comes to doing small you know simple tasks and at this stage you can download power commands for visual studio from msdn code gallery uh, the link to download i've converted this into a tiny url and here's the link you can download it from here i hope you enjoyed this video Thanks.